Of the hotels as you come down from your hotel room the nigerian consul general in saudi arabia ambassador yunusa muhammad has expressed satisfaction with the conduct of the 2018 hajj describing it as very successful he said that this in an interview in jeddah ambassador muhammad was particularly happy with the arrangements made for the accommodation of nigerian pilgrims while in the holy land he used the opportunity to commend Nakon for commencing early preparation towards the accommodation of Nigerian pilgrims in Medina during the 2019 Hajj, just as it did in 2018. This approach, he said, has multiple benefits for Nigerian pilgrims. You square, uh, secure accommodation that are close to the Haram. Within five minutes maximum, ten minutes, you will be in the Haram. So our pilgrims will have the opportunity to observe the five daily prayers at the masjid. It's unlike previously where I understand the distance between our accommodation, that's the pilgrims' accommodation, and the haram is about a kilometer or more than a kilometer. So after trekking from uh, your accommodation, to uh, the haram, maybe after Zuhur, one may not be able to come back for Asr, or he may come for, so therefore he may skip Asr in the mosque and then pray in a mosque near the accommodation. But this time around, in fact, some of the hotels, as you come down from your hotel room, uh, you may even get the sahu and then join and pray. So that's one of the advantages. Two. When you leave it late, the competition will be intense because many countries by then will be going there. So now at that time, it will be uh, the highest bidder will get the rooms. He reiterated the commitment of the embassy in Riyadh and the consulate in Jeddah to support Nakhon reforms, particularly the aspect that stresses the need for Saudi caterers to start importing Nigerian foodstuff for their catering services. Once <coughs> we have a firm commitment by the service provider, that means the kitchens, we can help them if, for example, the government of Saudi Arabia said they have to pay uh, taxes or whatever. Then here will come and say, no, since we are bringing our own food, for our own pilgrims, there should be no tax. So now the thing is, once we have palm commitment from the service providers, we'll assist them in bringing in the food items, inshallah. He then appreciated Nigerian pilgrims for being good ambassadors of the country during the 2018 Hajj exercise. Muhammad Nabi. I would like to thank Mr. Abdullah Mukhtar. In a related development, the chairman of Muassasa, Rami bin Saleh Lubni, has congratulated Nigeria for conducting a successful Hajj, saying it was achieved as a result of the commitment and determination of all stakeholders in Hajj matters. 
Rami Lubni stated this at a dinner organized by the Muassasa, which translates to mean service providers. The event took place in Makkah. The chairman thanked Nakon officials for discharging their responsibilities efficiently. He spoke through an interpreter. I would like to thank Mr. Abdullah Mukhtar, Sheikh Yusuf Adibayu, and Mr. Adibayu, and all the members of Nahkun for their continuous cooperation and connection with Mosses. The also I would like to thank and appreciate for all the uh, Muassasa uh, members uh, like Dr. Abdurrahman Mare and others. For the marvelous efforts they have. Uh, done in this Hajj. In his remarks, Nakon Chairman Barista Abdullah Mukhtar said the surplus service being rendered by the Muassasa and Saudi government are key to the successes recorded during the Hajj. I want to say that uh, this exercise for this year we have received brotherly cooperation and support from you people um, either which I don't consider is an official relationship, but a very brotherly one that goes beyond the official transaction. The National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, says. It will unveil an online application for the close monitoring of the activities of Ketras. Nakon Chairman Barista Abdullah Mukhtar Mohammed disclosed this at a meeting with service providers involved in the provision of accommodation and catering services in Mecca. By next year, I will use technology in monitoring the issue of feeding. Just as I said earlier on, um, it will help us in so many ways. We realize that the kitchens in Mecca are just too many. For example, this year we have 11 kitchens. Uh, posting staff to the kitchen and then having staff in pilgrims' accommodation to be feeling all those things is, uh, is a lot of work. So in the kitchen, the process of preparing the food is being uh, noted and recorded and everybody will see it online. The quality of the food will be tested by the officer and everybody will see it online. As they leave the kitchen, the quantity and the time of departure, everybody will see it online. So by the time they reach the pilgrim's accommodation, the officer there who will also log in to say they have come, he has collected this number, he will, everybody will see it online. The NACON chairman expressed satisfaction with the contribution of businessmen for the successes recorded during Hajj, urging them to take conscious note of the lapses observed for future improvements. He urged them to take advantage of the policy that now requires them to prepare Nigerian meals for Nigerian pilgrims. He thanked them for engaging Nigerians to serve in their companies. Thank you. You have done, you have tried your best in engaging Nigerian labor in the kitchen this year, uh, a lot we have seen, uh, most of the kitchen Nigerians are, uh, are engaged. Please, we appeal to you, uh, give them proper training, make them to love the job, make them to be professional in the job, uh, not only for hatch season, uh, make them to undergo the proper uh, training certification as approved by the kingdom. In another vein, the Nakon boss also held separate meetings with the commission's ad hoc staff in Mecca, the staff are Nigerians based in Saudi Arabia. While addressing the female workers, Barstabila Mukhtar Mohammed acknowledged their contributions in running Hajj affairs for Nigerian pilgrims. <laughs> Lavender 
da jajir chiwa da gudu mwa da kuka bayar yu mangani cha ansa muna sara ayikin hajjin dubu biu da guma sha takwas imba atare da gudu mwa mku bada dukkan nasarorin da akasamu bada asabin suwa mwansan cha ba mada kutla na ramu chwe gashi mwambia kushine la dang ayikin Sede kwa abinda akabaya la mu echa atu kwe chini Ama la da muna afata ya kasa nchi ya urang ubangizi A similar meeting took place with male ad hoc staff Where the chairman also expressed na consatisfaction with their performance He said, Nigeria is proud of their sense of patriotism Muhammad Nabi Nabi Nuru Adina The chairman of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakhon, by Abdullah Mukhtar Muhammad, has called on Hajj officials to attune themselves to the current realities of Hajj operations, which requires the use of ICT and other forms of e-transactions. The chairman stated this while interacting with officials of Kaduna State Pilgrims Welfare Board in Mecca before winding up the airlift operations of Nigerian pilgrims. I go carry took. Maikatam Hukumala later Jahar Kaduna, but a cheap you or Kawa, but Kua. Wonder that I made a Macaranta, a Kuyu computer, a Meda. Wonder Massacre Kua and the Adora so I can Matakin, the Aiki, na Harkan Elemon computer and Aiking Haji. So what the Edamutin Yaga in the Saudi, I take his seat at Aiking Haji. To Kasin Chiwan and Gabadik said the Maba to Shigich King one at Arimba. To say they to have quarter the aching hajit. Today, as Anka again, the Dahaga Magana Mawe Kache Kabia Mutun the check Amuchana. Do any be a chebi a ched Aki and then a Magana Abinchi, Magana Gida Jim, Magana Motochi, Magana Shima. Say they computer to be our computer. She may Abin say they got a lot at chicken account lesser. He further stressed the importance of ensuring that pilgrims get all the services paid for during the Hajj. Na ganang hatari ni musiba ni ache mutu nyena kalu ankama al haja abenda ba shini ya kamata abashe ba. Kuma kakarbaka saha nuka che aba al haja kuma abia wande ibada wa na au. Akwe ching amana achiki. Ko gida akache ga gida amba al haja ama achikin yirjiji ni ya koka aida ngira na akwe bukata achanza ama alaji zani ngadu baya mkwana kaza akwe bukata abashi luan zamzam akwe bukata ashari mishu daiki saa kache kai kai ni jami ime kulada wa nangira ama duwe na awo wa mbaka kulada anayinsuba shima chung amana ni baba nza atapushima abenda za aba alaji akwe katipa akwe borgu akwe pilu Kai kasang alhajan namba abashiba kuma baka rubu ta chua abashiba kuma baka sanyi ido katabata da chua angkwa ato masa haki inshi na wana abenda ba abashiba Shima chung amana ni baba Wana loka chi nakasa yaka nko kari zeligina sama Kwa yanuna chua aile funda sama ni Tua ama kai nakasa nkai me kai Dwa minka tabata da chua amba alhajan shiwa na haki inashi so na kala tuna tadamu chewa abisa na wienda Allah ya dola amana tu kuwa namu ya kukali ya jajir chi wajangani chia mungkara mutu nchi mungkara martaba mungkara daraja muntaba tada amba la haja haki nshidi ya kamata abashi in the separate remarks the director general bureau for interfaith kaduna state nama di musa and overseer kaduna state pilgrims welfare board imam hussaini zuhu ikara appreciated Nakon for all its support, assuring the Commission of their commitment in exploring ways of providing pilgrims effective and efficient services during Hajj. Muhammad, Nabi, Nabi, Nuru, The airlift of more than 55,000 Nigerian pilgrims back home has been successfully completed. This was on Sunday the 23rd of September 2018. 
The operation was carried out by the three airliners approved by the federal government. These are Max Airlines, Medview Airlines, and Flyners Airlines. The success of the airlift was attributed to the many measures put in place by Narcan, which allows only companies with capacity and good reputation in the aviation industry to participate in the exercise. al Hajimodi Bosali is the Commissioner of Operations at Narcan. He explains more on this. Plans the Commission put in place uh, started a long time ago. First of all, by uh, giving opportunity to those that are capable and have the equipment and uh, readiness and operational uh, wherewithal to participate in the airlift operation. And that uh, contract was signed with them and their allocations uh, accordingly made and then they went ahead and uh, obtained uh, the facilities and put them uh, infrastructure on ground and alhamdulillah they have materialized positively and uh, today we are almost celebrating the success of the total airlift of Nigerians back to Nigeria after having performed the 2018 Hajj accordingly. Added to this was the support received from stakeholders in the aviation industry and the adherence by the airliners to flight guidelines. Well, uh, cooperation has been satisfactory. Uh, cooperation has been enjoyed between all the stakeholders uh, in a supportive and proactive uh, uh, fraternal relationship, if you like, and uh, there has been no problem with that. Effective handling of pilgrims' luggage also attributed in having smooth airlift of pilgrims. The luggage comprised of the 8 kilogram handbag and the 32 kilogram main bag. The commission has uh, already established and put on ground that is infrastructure uh, and uh, personnel to ensure that there is compliance because it has to do with comfort and safety of the passengers on board the aircraft. So there is insistence and there is enforcement of compliance to ensure that uh, people do not carry more than the 8 kg. That is to say where uh, it is seen that a luggage is more than 8 kg, there and then the owner would be compelled to reduce and especially given the option to reduce those things that are not very useful anyway. And that uh, there is this obligation that is seriously uh, adhered to of avoidance of carriage of uh, harmful uh, and uh, instruments on board aircraft and harmful substances and so on and so forth. Efforts were made to ensure that pilgrims did not exceed the approved 32 kilogram for their main luggage. Now, on the other hand, you have what is referred to as uh, checked in baggage. The maximum allowed weight uh, is 32 kg. Pilgrims have been advised even before they came to Saudi Arabia and during the time they are returning to Saudi Arabia to ensure that their checked in luggages do not exceed 32 kg. In fact, they are even warned that in case their luggages exceed 32 kg, in their absence, it would be either the luggage would be rejected or the luggage would be forcefully uh, made to comply even in their absence. That is to say, in the presence of their representatives, in order to allow such luggage to ride on the aircraft, such luggage should be brought down to that level of weight. Uh, fortunately, in that, regard, in that regard, the challenge has not been as much as in the case of the hand luggage because pilgrims have been provided at many places with uh, scales by their state leaderships to have an idea of the weight of their luggage before, before they release the luggage to the uh, airlines and as such you find that most of the luggage are within the range that is allowed. There hasn't been much problem. For excess luggage, three cargo carriers have been engaged by Nakan to handle the delivery of the items. The carriers are Cargo Zeal Airlines, Medview Cargo and Dynamic Cargo Airlines. The benefit of uh, us collecting this excess luggage, number one, they are allowed, they are allowed, they are allowed, they are allowed baggage by airline that we all know all over the world is 8 kilo and 30 kilo uh, to be sent. 
anything above that, it becomes worrisome. And if you allow them to carry along, apart from the trouble they go through, they, they are very expensive. They charge at least nothing less than 50 real per kg from the pilgrims. This is a very big relief for them. Nakan, at a meeting with the airliners, tasked them to timely delivery of all excess luggage belonging to pilgrims. The most important thing, as far as the Commission is concerned, that that cargo is delivered and delivered on time. In essence, the chairman gave the marching order to all the three companies this evening that no cargo should exceed one week to the date of the arrival of the last pilgrim in Nigeria so that they wouldn't have to keep coming and coming, going back looking for their excess luggage. <coughs> Furthermore, it is also agreed that the Commission would liaise with Nigerian Customs Service, Nigerian Ports Authorities, and other company processing, com uh, cargo processing companies operating in airports to ensure that the pilgrims are not, ex I mean, are not um, unduly charged for extra services or undue checks that their baggage will be treated for what it is, a Hajj baggage which enjoys certain privileges. Related to this is the delivery of Zamzam water to Nigeria with the Commission shouldering the responsibility on behalf of pilgrims. The Zamzam had already been ordered, procured by the Commission on behalf of all pilgrims and then released to the same aircraft that was going to bring them to Nigeria on the uh, empty legs to carry the Zamzam to Nigeria and that uh, enough Zamzam to supply all pilgrims have already been delivered to Nigeria even before the pilgrims came to Nigeria. Of course, uh, as the pilgrims would only collect the Zamzam upon return to Nigeria because Zamzam is for, meant for a pilgrim that has come to Saudi Arabia eh? and instead of carrying it himself, is now going to receive it in Nigeria. The Zamzam is waiting for them. Uh, it has largely been uh, released to their respective state leadership, that is to the executive secretary or executive uh, chairman, and that uh, from the information that is available to us here, uh, majority of states have already actually distributed uh, largely the whole uh, uh, the, the Zamzam to their pilgrims. Projecting into the future, Nakan is considering ways to reduce the number of days pilgrims have to wait in Saudi Arabia before being airlifted back home after the Hajj. There is this regulation of Saudi Arabian Civil Aviation Authority and that uh, it is made for the benefit of every stakeholder. That is, countries with over 30,000 pilgrims are expected to plan the movement of their pilgrims into the kingdom and out of the kingdom upon return within a period of 30 days. That is to have an even spread. And I think it's very fair and equitable in the sense that uh, there are so many countries and that if you all want to go back on the same day, uh, it will not be imaginable by what, to what extent you will want to uh, stretch the capacity of uh, infrastructure. Remember that uh, hundreds of countries come into Saudi Arabia. Can you imagine what would happen if all of them would be allowed to go on the same day or at the time uh, according to their just desires? It will not work. And uh, airline business uh, or activity is one that has to be with precision and above all text safety into consideration. <laughs>